Okay, I hope this works this time. I've tried filming this twice. I've got the frozen food that I am going to feed these guys. One trick that I learned. Disconnect the pump for a second. A minute, actually, a minute or two. And that will let the food float a little longer for them to get. This is a mix of brine shrimp and blood worms. And they go bonkers over it. because it gives them more time to eat when I first started trying this I tried putting just the frozen block in there and it would sink I tried putting the whole thing in there at once and it wouldn't uh, all wouldn't get eaten, it just all sink to the bottom. And I had to look online, like how people uh, do this, and they recommended this. And this seems to work fairly well. The barbs especially, I've read, like to have a variety in their diet, not the barbs, the tetras. And I've got the uh, Pristella and the Rummies are both Tetras. The barbs will eat anything. White Mountain Clouds are actually barbs, but they're more often classified with Danios or Minnows. Um, and I think that's basically because of their mouth structure. Barbs have their mouth on the front and towards the bottom and the white mountain clouds have it towards the top. And the white mountain clouds are also more of a topwater fish too, which you'll see in my videos, they are almost always towards the top part. Barbs are all over the place, the tetras are all over the place. Everybody in the tank loves these, you will see the catfish running around as soon as they notice all of this. The Pleco also goes nuts for it. I've noticed the catfish go nuts over the bloodworms or than any, anything else. And I put half a cube of each It took me a while to narrow down about just how much to put in there. Not to overfeed them. Leave. Don't put uh, too little in so nothing gets to the bottom for the other fish. But to put enough in so the bottom feeders will get some and everybody else will get a little decent amount. And this just lasts a little bit. Then after a couple minutes, I um, turn the filter back on, and everything's uh, hunky dory. Some of the fish are starting to display that behavior where they're full. They'll mouth the food and spit it back out, which is normal. But over the next few hours, um, they will pick through everything. Everything will sink. All the three catfish will get some. Pleco will get some. I love watching them. <laughs> 